romance novels have taught you more about love than you think. Blogger and author Sarah Wendell provides readers with excerpts and commentary and reveals a secret that these books aren't just about steamy romances and hunky heroes. Our own Becky Anderson sits down with Wendell to talk about her book, Everything I Learned About Love, I Learned Through Romance Novels, in this week's edition of Authors Revealed. Welcome to Authors Revealed, I'm Becky Anderson. We have romance for you. It's Sarah Wendell with her new book. It's called Everything I Learned About Love. I Learned From Romance Novels. There's the myth that the books are all about sex. Mm -hmm. They're not, they're about courtship. The idea that they're all the same, they're not. Oh no. That there is, there is an, a meeting of two people and there is a happy ending and what happens in between mm -hmm. is always different. If you ask a bunch of different people how they met their partner or their spouse, you'll get a different answer for every person, and so it is with romance novels. But there's also a misconception about the readers, that we're sad, lonely, undersexed, we wear puffy paint sweatshirts, oh, we know. have bad hair, we, you know, we hide in our house with 86 cats and read books, and that's our only source of yeah. happiness. Not true. Yeah. The Romance Writers of America studies of romance readers revealed that not only are we all quite intelligent, highly educated, mm -hmm. But we're also, most of us, in long-term happy relationships. That's true. And that when I so researched yeah. this book, I learned that not only were the readers who were sharing their stories with me in happy relationships, mm -hmm. but they were often the one that their friends came to for advice. Yeah. And I thought, well, that's something that I have in common with so many readers that I have no idea. Tell us about what does it show us about true love? How, how, how can we find it or know that we have it? Yeah. Well, the two most important lessons in the book are that you have to be the heroine of your own life, mm -hmm. which means that you have to be able to identify and articulate what you want and what is gonna make you happy. And the other part is that if you want a happy ending, mm -hmm. it, it starts now and it takes work. Right. One of the authors that's um, quoted in the book who did a really okay. amazing job of summarizing the book and when I got her response to my interview. I was actually really annoyed because I thought, well, crap, she just wrote the whole book and a whole paragraph, oh. and I got a lot of right. It was perfect. Robin Carr, who wrote a contemporary romance mm -hmm. series called Virgin River, looked at my questions and said, actually, it's the antithesis of your question that people need to realize about romance. Uh, yeah. When you see someone get away from a toxic person, you cheer. When you see someone leave someone who is not treating them the right way, you're happy for them. We want people to be happy, and we want to be happy. Yeah. And author Teresa Madeira sort of unlocks that when she says, you never stop courting your spouse. Yeah. So get away from things that are making you unhappy and appreciate what you have by making sure that you demonstrate daily what it is that you, yeah. f that you feel for people. Yeah. You, it never gets old to have someone who cares about you tell you that they care about you. That yeah. never gets and old. You know, never no, happens. so you say yeah. it, then they say it to yeah. you and suddenly you all feel hot, awesome. This is very simple, but easily done. It's been a fun and romantic discussion with author Sarah Wendell about her new book, Everything I Learned About Love, I Learned From Romance Novels. Back to you, Jen. Thanks, Becky. If you're interested in the full interview with Sarah Wendell, visit our website at nctv17.com for a list of times.